Hey YouTube, just an update to show you how I made my breeding tubs for my rats. Um, just a quick DIY, I guess. Uh, these are 53 litre um, storage containers from Kmart, and um, they have that lid there. They just clip on at the sides, as you can see. Um, and I've got myself a $5 um, sort of rat uh, water dispenser. And this is mouse and snake mesh. Just some wire, it's obviously been um, treated. That um, I'll show you where that goes at, at the start. But basically, that all together that cost me probably about under twenty dollars for um, that whole setup. And that's basically all you need, as well as a soldering iron and some little zip tags. But I'll show you the next step. So with the soldering iron, I've cut a hole out of the top of the lid to then fasten the mesh over the top so it acts as the top of the cage for obviously breathing so I'll do that with the soldering iron again where I puncture little holes through the lid um, either side of these squares and then use zip ties to fasten it on that way you're not using any glue and things like that it's actually quite easy so as you can see with the zip ties I've been able to um, secure it to the plastic lid so it looks like that and so now this is your basically it looks like that that's your tub your rat tub there and all you need to do now is make a small hole on the side of the tub with the soldering iron for your little water thing to go in and fasten there and you get a piece of wire and you hold it on to the side of the tub there and that's it you fill it up um, and I'll show you what the completed ones look like and also a little update on the rats okay so here's the finished product I've got four of them as you can see they just sit out on my balcony um, so I've got the little drippers you just take them out change the fresh water every day and top up their food in there I've got some um, some wood shavings so in this one, I have a mother, and she's got 12 babies. They're probably about two weeks old, I would say. And there's another mother, and she's got um, 11, and they're a week old, or probably actually a couple of days old, really. Um, there's a male... You can see I've kept them color coded except for one. So that's my big male. Um, female there, he's resting on her while he has a drink. <laughs> that's my only black female. The others are all pale, so I can tell them the difference quickly and swap them in and out. And this is my pregnant female. And you can always tell when your females are pregnant because they puff out like balloons, as you can see there. So she's probably going to have them soon. Um, now sisters can have babies together and they sort of won't steal their own but I like to separate them all just so they can have their own privacy and they don't freak out at birth. But um, these two are sisters and they're second time mums and this girl is one of their offspring and this is her first time having babies. So he's the father to all of them. The big, the big brown boy there. He's the father to all of them, um, except for those two original, these two sisters. So there you have it. Um, simple and easy. You just, I can churn them out. So I've got three females basically going at a time, and that keeps my um, snakes nice and um, full, and my freezer full. But without going over budget, so I just keep topping up with. Um, food and some dog biscuits um, and that's how I go.